and the filibuster has played a huge role in the history of the Senate. This morning, that power of open-ended debate has been dramatically cut back. Senate Democrats voted yesterday to change the rule that allowed Republicans to block presidential appointments. Senators will only be allowed to filibuster Supreme Court nominations. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill. Nancy, good morning. Charlie and Nora, good morning to you. The rule they changed has been around for 96 years. Democrats say Republicans were abusing it and they had no choice. But Republicans call this a power grab and say that Democrats robbed the minority of one of its true few pieces of leverage. All but three Democrats voted to clip the minority's power, lowering the hurdle for confirming presidential appointees from 60 votes to a simple majority of 51 votes. That means Republicans can no longer block nominees if they don't like them or to extract unrelated concessions. What has gone on is absolutely unfair and wrong, and I'm glad we changed it. Half of all the filibusters against presidential nominations in U.S. history have involved Mr. Obama's nominees. 76 presidential nominees are awaiting confirmation for an average of 147 days. Republicans recently blocked three of the president's nominees to the powerful U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in D.C. But Republicans say Democrats are only taking this step now because they're trying to divert attention from Obamacare's problems. Say to my friends on the other side of the aisle, you'll regret this, and you may regret it a lot sooner than you think. That's the same argument then-Senator Barack Obama made in 2005 when Republicans were in charge and considering the same move. I think the loss will be enormous uh, and, and one that uh, all parties involved will come to regret. On Thursday, he said times have changed. Today's pattern of obstruction, it just isn't normal. It's not what our founders envisioned. Republican Senator John McCain led a bipartisan effort to head off the nuclear option in July. He was not successful this time. Do you think the Senate can ever go back from this? I would be surprised because if we got the majority in 2015, I think there would be people who would be not want to reverse it. Democrats argue this move is going to ease gridlock because they'll be able to get these nominees through much quicker, while Republicans say it's only going to increase mistrust on all the other issues. Either way, Nora and Charlie, nobody is getting confirmed over the next two weeks because the Senate has just gone on a long recess. Thanks, Nancy.